In this video, we're going to explore the Move Vertices tool in 3D Code's Retopple Room. And in the process, we're also going to explain how you use this not only to do, as the name implies, move vertices and sub-elements around, but you can use it to weld vertices together because that's one of the first questions new users have regarding the Retopple toolset. One reason for this is because there are no tools in the tool panel where the word weld is included. So let's get started now. Again, as the name implies, you can move vertices around, but you can also move these different sub-elements. Obviously vertices, edges, faces, edge loops, and edge rings. Let me uncheck that. And let's go to auto mode here. And this one is pretty handy. It's probably one you may want to use most of the time because while you're working, it allows you to go ahead and hover over a given element and make your adjustment. And then you can hover over a different element. Let me just go ahead and show that in practice while I'm talking. So as with most other brushes, if your brush radius is too large, it makes it very difficult to make a very small selection such as a single vertice. So you need to reduce it with the bracket key, or the left bracket key I should say, until your brush radius is no longer spanning the width of multiple vertices or sub-elements. Okay, if you hover over an edge, that's what it's going to highlight. Once it's highlighted, you just click that and drag it. Okay, and then while you're still in auto mode, you can do the same thing with faces and vertices as well. The other function that this tool serves as is a welding tool. All you have to do is hover over a vertex, click, hold, and drag over another. When you see the red highlight or the red dot, that's 3D Coat's indication that once you release your cursor while it's still red, 3D Coat is going to weld these two together. That also includes situations where you may have multiple overlapping vertices as well. One way that you can test to see if you have a successful weld or no longer have any overlapping vertices is you can simply hover over the vertex or over the area, left mouse click and drag, and if you don't see any red dot, that tells you that you indeed have a clean weld of all the vertices. Okay, so let me undo until we get that back. There is another way that you can weld on the fly when using some of the other tools, such as the Add and Split tool. Let's say, in this example, I want to clean this Auto Retopo result up a bit. So, with the Split tool, I can just click my first point, click here anywhere along the edge. It's going to make a cut, and then click on the point or anywhere along the edge. So, I'll click that. And while I'm doing this, at any point in time, when I'm hovering over a point, I can right mouse click and drag, just as I did with the Move Vertices tool. And again, I'll see that red highlight. And that will allow me to basically use the same functionality that I have in a Move Vertices tool all on the fly by right mouse clicking and dragging the vertice over another. Okay, so I'll undo that. And let me hide this mesh. And I'll use points and faces just to quickly lay down some polygons here. Right click. Oops, I need to unhide this. Right click. There we go. So, yeah, what I want to point out is while you're using this tool, you also can right mouse click and hover over a point. Again, you'll see that red dot and that lets you know it's going to weld. So to recap, these are the three tools that allow you to weld vertices together inside the Retopo room of 3D Coat. Once more, with move vertices chosen, you can move all these different sub-elements, but in order to weld, you actually need to be in vertice mode. And so that's a quick look at using the Move Vertices tool in 3D Coat as well as welding on the fly using some other tools. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.